Um, a lot of people have been asking questions, what's been going on, um, what's Outlaw Drums has been up to. So I'm fixing to go through a list of some questions that people asked and we can kind of just work our way through it. What type of wood would you recommend using if you really wanted to get a really bright, ringy sound? What has been your favorite snare drum of all time? Wow, a lot of this is gonna be personal preference. Well, I would say Purple Heart. Purple Heart is very hard, it's very bright, the wood's very dense. Um, it's gonna have an, a, a natural tendency to have kind of a little bit more ringing sensation. Um, maple as well. Now, this all determines on your edges as well, too. Purple Heart would definitely be, on my personal opinion, on if I was really trying to achieve more of a ringy sound. Some people want that extra ring and, you know, and determine on your lugs as well too. Normally a 10 lug is gonna ring a little bit more than say like an eight lug. So it just really depends on a bunch of different factors, but wood type alone, I would say Purple Heart. There are so many different types of drums that I just fell in love with when I was making them. But if, I, if one probably would stand out um, this, I had a client sent me a, actually a, a door. Um, she was really cool with me doing whatever I wanted to do. It did not matter. Just create however you felt led. And I love that. Um, you know, sizes, whatever I could possibly work out. And we worked out a really amazing snare drum and actually put the hinges on the side of it. That's probably really close. You know, when, I, when we made the one for Todd Zuckerman, that was very amazing too. Hi, Todd Zuckerman here. We're going to do a little listening with the Outlaw Snare tuned down, really light touch playing. There is a one that we pulled out of a, a swamp bridge where they tore down an, an old bridge and a few of the boards that was in the original bridge got left and it was actually in the edge of the swamp and we was able to pull out a few of those and make a couple drums out of that. That was probably one of my favorite too so that, there's a lot of them that was my favorites <laughs> and another one that was probably one of my favorite is the buckshot it's where we actually took the drum and we shot it with the shotgun and i nicknamed it after my dad and it was amazing how heavy the drum actually was from all the lead that was in it david johnson from colorado's asked if i was getting into drums and i played a lot of country style music what type of snare drum would you recommend me getting? One thing I say I want to point out right from the beginning, you can change the sound of your drum dramatically just by changing the drum heads, the wires, and just setting up a few little minor things to it. You can go, you can have a drum that goes from dry to wet in a matter of 20 minutes. Well, first of all, I would say that a, um, it needs to be an eight lug drum. Eight lug drum is going to be a little bit more spongy, a little bit more warmer sounding. It's not going to have so much of that ring that you're going to have to try to get out. You know, like a 6x14 or a 7x14 would be a great all-around country sound. I also would look for, you know, great sensitivity. Um, you want a drum that's going to be very responsive and something that has a lot of depth and something that's kind of meaty. Um, to kind of push through the amps and for that country groove. I would say that. You know, a lot of people would say you have to have an vintage type of drum to be able to achieve those sounds. To me, that's false. Um, a lot of times the vintage drums are vintage because years and years of resonating on the edges is kind of flatten the edges out. They are, there's more contact with the drum head. And a lot of the times, just from the sticks hit the bearing edge, it causes them to kind of be flat on certain spot. Yeah, you know, it would definitely kind of affect the sound. It'll affect the sensitivity, and it'll affect the resonation of the drum in a whole. Um, but you can achieve that easily with the bearing edges, giving a more rounded, vintage sound right there from the beginning. I grew up with listening to watching all of Norm Abrams' videos. He always had a um, a, nail, a really nice apron that had all his utensils in. He all, right up front was his tape measure, 
um, side pocket was pencils. Each one kind of had a designated spot. And I tell you the truth, I was kind of on the fence about really starting to wear one because it just kind of seemed a little dorky. And so I decided to just say, you know what? I'm going all in. I'm gonna to try to wear a nail apron every single day for 2021. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, I love it. It's almost kind of like I come in, like when I put that apron on, I'm in the zone. And I'm in work mode, not play mode. So if you come see me and I got my apron on, warning, I'm gonna be in work mode. But like I'm saying, it just kind of makes me focus and I have all my stuff kind of right there with me. Boom, speed square, tri-square, um, tape measure, pencils, razor blades, everything is just right here in my nail apron. And it's kind of like when I'm in work mode, put it on. And it's been really cold too, so it's kind of like kept me warm. I found that using an apron kind of keeps everything kind of compact together, almost kind of like your thoughts. You know, your thoughts will tend to have, if you don't really consume, grasp your thoughts, they're gonna run randomly and it's gonna pull you out, pull you out of the objectives that are set. Um, it's very difficult to stay focused nowadays with the technology and everything. So I feel like having everything in one place is very beneficial. So yeah, I'm going to keep these videos very short, sweet, to the point. Just want to say thank you to our Patreons. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for believing in me. God bless y'all. And you know who you are. I'm going to call y'all out exactly by name next week. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Also, I want everybody to stay tuned for... The, the Welch Tuning System drum kit we just finished. I'm um, doing the sound file next week, and it's going to be amazing. That's going to be on the next video. God bless y'all. Thank you so much.